Tesla full self-driving still like to do some weird stuff like this. Why would it change the lanes and change back? Um, this it has its blinker on for some reason, but we're not turning right. Oh, oh yeah, this and this. Oh, what are you doing? And this. And don't stop. But it does do some good stuff, so like here. Crossing, but it's gonna let it cross. It's here. A little bit to the left to avoid this cyclist. Oh, we're not and here. here. But oh, we actually made it. Here's how it all went, went down. Everyone. Just another Tesla guy here. Today we're gonna have the car full self driving, do some stress tests, go to a couple of locations, see how it perform with uh, evening traffic. It's around 7 p.m. so it should be light but we'll see what happens. As usual once I drive up a little bit I'm gonna engage full self driving. Car just double parked here so let's just move up a little bit. And right in front of me is a Model S. Um, all right, they just ran into a pothole, but that's fine. And we're starting full start driving now. So we're just waiting here for a red light. And once this clear, we should be going. As you can see, there's a blue line here. So it's um, totally hands off. The car is navigating. And we can turn on red here. So let's see if the car will turn on red. Stopping for traffic light. But I'm pressing accelerate for a little bit because we can turn. But since there's some pedestrian crossing, can let them cross. And now we're moving forward. So it looks like it will turn on red. But again, there's more pedestrians. So we're just gonna let them cross. And now the car is gonna go. All right, it's turning. Apply some force. Of course, ran into more potholes. Oh. That's fine. Let's go. All right, there's another traffic light, but we should be clear. We're changing lanes to follow route. Not a good idea because eventually this is a left turn lane only. So, see why would it do that? Why would it change the lanes and change back? Just ran over another pothole. Love it. New Jersey roads are the best. We're stopping and we're going again. Apply some force. I'm just gonna turn up the volume. I don't have to change the wheels. And you're just really hesitant right here. So I just press accelerate for it to go a little bit because it was just stopping and going for a little bit. It's visualizing those three cars turning and it's stopping. All right, let's go. So I did have to press accelerator just in the back there. Um, it has this blinker on for some reason, but we're not turning right. And there are cars behind me, so they're likely gonna think I'm gonna make a right turn here but I'm not. So, oh, it disappeared. All right, nope, it's, it's on again, but I'm not turning, so. All right, and we're off. Hopefully I did not confuse the driver behind me. And another manhole cover, it ran over. go stopping cars slowing down all right let's see will the car turn move to the side to proceed and it probably won't so I'm just gonna take over and never mind the car just made a left turn so let me just re-engage so I just dis I disengaged full self-driving because I thought the car wouldn't make a left and the car will not go around the other car but by the time I disengage, the other car already made its left turn. So that was not needed. So I re-engage for self-driving. And let's, yeah, let's go again. All right, we're making a right turn here. Should go. That was 
not necessary. It moved a little bit too close to the curb and it corrected itself. All right, I'm just kind of stuck in traffic here. Here's a pedestrian crossing, so I'm just gonna press brake for that. All right, he let me go. So I don't think the car was gonna stop, but the pedestrian let me go and it turned a little bit too close because the pedestrian was actually getting onto the car next to me. So it wanted to move sort of a little bit to the left side. So I took over and let me re-engage full self-driving here. Now let me do that. So let me try again. All right. Let's make a left turn up ahead. Just waiting right here for it to be clear to go. And we're clear, so let's go. It's really slow, but it made the left turn. And we're off again. Stopping for a stop sign. And we're clear. We're off. Once the car makes that left turn, I'm gonna remove the location and have it go to the next navigate to the next one. Because I do want to see how it will perform on a left turn. waiting here for the for it to be clear each time it visualize a car and it will turn blue to indicate that I'm visualizing it I'm seeing it on my screen and it's on my radar and now we're clear oh no don't what are you doing almost crashed so I just took over right there all right let me edit the trip and remove the UPS store so it can navigate to the next location, which is uh, TD Bank. So put that reroute. And all right, should be making a right turn up ahead. So again, that was another left turn where it wasn't able to perform correctly, or I won't say not correctly, it just wasn't a good way to do it it almost ran into the curb again but it did correct itself but i turned a little bit more towards the left because there was a parked car there and it felt like the car might have hit the other car if it continued going which is why i took over but if that car wasn't there and i would have probably took let the car do what it gotta do I guess it still needs to work on the right turn. I mean, sorry, the left turn. Here we're making a right turn, waiting for those pedestrians to cross. I'm just gonna press accelerator for a little, a little bit. So it can start moving, and now we're off. All right, this should be easier. Just a straight line. Crossing, so it's gonna let it cross. All right, let's go. And it's not going, so I'm just gonna press accelerate for it to go. Let's see again, will this car move a little bit? I guess not. This car is making a right turn, this car is making a left turn. That's 
thought I was going to take over, but it moved out. The car turned to the right in time. I did not need to. It's moving a little bit to the left to avoid the cyclists. Good job, Tesla. Again, it just slowed down because I saw that jogger on the side. Try some force. The speed limit's 35 here. Let's see will the car move over to the side. And guess not because the car made that left turn and don't stop. It just almost it was creeping forth for visibility. So I press accelerate for it to go. Making a right turn here. Whoa. Okay, just sped up. Just dive right into that right turn. Not sure why it did that. A little crazy right there. a left turn up ahead blinkers on great make a left turn they're stopping so we can go right Just a little bit hesitant right there but it made it through few more blocks to stop and shop. Right, stopping here. Right, creeping forward for visibility. Again, it's using the cameras on both sides of the door to try to see the tra oncoming traffic lanes. So it has to creep forward to make sure that we're clear. I don't need to go to stop and stop, sh stop and shop. So I'm just gonna edit the trip, remove that, and also apply some force. So Krispy Kreme is where I actually do need to go. So I'm just gonna have the car navigate and drive me there. Hopefully it could. Let's see, creeping forward for visibility. We are clear. a right turn at the stop sign so it's stopping for a stop sign blinkers on all right to always stop sign so there's we're clear we should be good to go and it makes the right turn now we need to make a left turn okay let's see how it'll perform on this left turn So we have a protected left turn. It's creeping forward slowly. All right, let's see if I need to take over. I don't, not this time. Perfect. All right, they made that left turn. Right. Stopping for a red light. Further. Um, okay, so it needs me to make a left turn and then a right turn up ahead. Not sure why it needs to do that when it should be able to just drive straight. But maybe it knows something, I don't know. So we'll see when we get there.
approaching it. Probably a red light right there. Maybe we can go straight. I don't see a reason why we can't go straight. Looks clear to me. So I'm just gonna take over. Don't think we need to make that left. So I'm just gonna stop here for the red light. And it's still telling me to go make a left turn here to go there. So I'm not sure why it's saying that, but we're clear to looks clear to me. Right now, I'm not controlling the full start driving is not controlling the car. I am so I'm just gonna take over and drive straight because we don't need to do that. And it made it fine. So let's just re engage full self driving, and we're green to go. All right. for visibility we should be clear and it ran over another pothole love it NJ Trans is just going by me need to make a left turn up ahead so let's see it make that left turn blinkers on all right we're, we are nope we're not clear but Oh, we actually made it. I thought the car would have waited for the other car, but it made it great. We'll just stop right there for a split second, but it went going again. Looks good. All right, we're almost there. All right, need to make a right turn here. car a little bit all right let's turn in right here so we're slowing down to make a left turn to turn in here so it's waiting for that car to go and it's gonna run over yep another pothole all right that was a good left turn Except for the pothole, of course. All right. But it was successfully able to bring me to Christy, Krispy Kreme. All right. Don't be hesitant right here. left turn here all right it's waiting for his car to go again the car is doing everything I'm not handling the drive here and it brought me here took over to go park right here but that was a beautiful drive all right let me know what you guys all think about this one thank you for watching this video